sir as you told like uh, uh, if we are eating if we are a pure ve uh, vegan uh -huh. if we are taking vegan diet it means that, like we are consuming only the plant animal uh, plant uh, only a uh, uh, plant yeah only the plant sir then uh, it is like uh, if we are taking plant also then also we are killing the plants also uh -huh. for that uh, even that is also not good sir you are talking about it is killing also, sir living thing no sir okay okay for first thing first okay oh, first thing first i am surprised that this question came in this lecture because this lecture was not about killing animals or any sort of ethics at all it was only based on nutrition but fine i can i don't mind answering it though because it's a fair question so this is the question i got last time when i was in this classroom and i get in every classroom they ask me like because that lecture will be different right i will actually show you videos of animal being killed and all this stuff and i'll try to make people think differently so plants are living creatures so again we have to look at this scientifically plants are insentient creatures you know being a sentient and insentient sentient means a creature that can feel pain or suffering and has consciousness plants are insentient in order to be sentient a being needs to possess a brain and a central nervous system connected to different receptors this is your ocular receptors this is your sonar receptors your tactile receptors your gustatory receptors your olfactory receptors when you only have receptors and a brain and a nervous system can you think and see and smell and feel and touch and hear and taste when you don't have these receptors none of those things are possible now if i had a plant here with me right now a rose plant and i told you this plant is suffering from kidney stones will you believe me no. now why will you you will first question is kidney stones can you show me the kidneys please i'll be like oh yeah they don't have kidneys you're right okay this plant suffers from heart attack heart attack a plant does it even have a heart well no it doesn't so it doesn't make sense either this plant can feel pain really can you please show me the brain can you please show me the nervous system can you please show me the organs which proves so doesn't exist none of those three statements are true and lastly i want to state something very clear is that it's not fair to compare an animal to a plant it is like see think of it this way if there's a dog sleeping here right now in this room okay and i had like a big club with me i started whacking his head and his brains came out and you came and asked me why are you beating the dog like hey, you kill carrot no what's your problem you are equally you you put you take a tomato put it in the blender and make chutney how much it will pain for the tomato if i said this you you are laughing you are laughing but if i told you please don't harm cows chickens pigs fish goats ducks sheep please don't hurt them don't kill them what will you say eh plants feel pain and get lost so i am not the one being hypocritical here i am being consistent and i heard a dog you don't feel that way even when we buy a car to inaugurate it what do we keep under the wheel lemon. lemon if i gave you four kittens and asked them to keep under the wheel will you keep it <laughs> but i thought plants feel pain a lemon also screams in pain you can't hear it the decibel is different how come nobody said it at that time oh now you won't say that last point i want to say anybody has a pet dog or cat here anybody what do you have you have a cat okay do you love your cat like a family member okay just imagine if your house tomorrow catches fire okay for example and i am the firefighter and i come into your house i rescue you i rescue your family everybody take you all outside what is the cat is stuck inside what is the first thing you'll tell me you will say you won't take you the fire is burning and i'm the one wearing the suit and the fire you tell, yes you'll, you'll tell me to go save the cat so i'll run into the firehouse and see I, everything is burning there's smoke everywhere what's going to happen suddenly i find a small cat sitting over here it's looking at me i'm like okay i can save our cat but suddenly i remember that plants feel pain so i leave the cat i go to the fridge i take the cucumber i take the watermelon i take the cauliflower okay and then i come to you and say oh my god i'm so sorry i couldn't save your cat but wait don't you know plants feel pain see how many lives i saved in this one watermelon there are 100 seeds i saved 100 lives you're laughing you're laughing why are you laughing why are you laughing it's silly it's stupid it's silly man sorry to not to make fun of you But the, the, the whole point of contention is that that is not a valid excuse to hurt an animal. They are not the same. In science, we classify them as animal kingdom, plant kingdom, fungus kingdom, bacteria. Even on that, we have unicellular, multicellular. They are not the same kingdom. It's not the same thing.